Hey, what's going on, you all? It's your girl Jay Pritzy coming at you once again. And um, excuse the frizz in the hair, child. Let me just get into this video. I just would like to say, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Also, please hit the subscribe button. And Jay loves. Um, I would like everyone please um like and share with someone and ring that bell honey because that bell like i said it's gonna let you know when i do load new videos so i'm just gonna get into it i just decided to change my shirt because it's such a cute shirt and if you haven't watched any of my hauls well this one is the dd's hauls that i just recently done and i'm gonna put the link below in this video so this will be about law of attraction i have another previous video that i just uploaded and i'm just going to put that in the link below as well but um i really wanted to talk about it again because i did tell you in the first one that i wanted to share something with you all but i didn't want it to be lengthy you know i like to keep my videos a little short so i'm just going to get into it um i was really when i was really into like heavily into the law of attraction it becomes somewhat like an obsession. You try to learn as much as you can because you really want to like transform and change your life, you know. And I have said in the previous video that it's life and death and the power of the tongue. You know, when you hear of the secret, um, the video that was shared with me, I um, really just absorbed a lot of things from that. But it's not even, it's, it's giving you... I want to say like a general feel good film. Um, it just opens your mind up, your perception, but it's deeper than what they telling you. And I think that it was just designed that way just to get people into the acknowledgement of it. That's what I'm thinking. Just, just to do like a little trailer. That's what it gives me a trailer feel to a movie. That's basically what the secret was in trying to, well, not trying to, they did a good job in explaining it on the level that they did so what i end up doing um i ended up just being very being very cautious on my mindset and making sure that i think of positive things you know and stuff like that but you cannot be in the worrying it's like having faith you can't have faith and worry at the same time you can only choose one to do because it doesn't work like that. It's like yin and yang. So at this time, my vibration was high and everything else. And I was just really clearing. And one thing that I like to do is when I need clarity, I always purge my closet. Because at times it can get really out of hand. And I remember that particular night that I was purging and just getting rid of some things and stuff and organizing and all of this good stuff that I do just so that I can clear my mind. Because I feel like when your space is clean... You can really think more. It's a lot of, it brings clarity to you. So while well, I was cleaning and I, I started trying to listen to my first mind. Because have you ever like, man, you know what? If I would have only listened to my first mind. And that's what I actually did. So while I was cleaning, something was like, go to the store and purchase um, some lottery tickets. So I was like, okay, you know. So I already had the vision in my mind what store to go. That's the crazy part. Because... I, I just had a good, really good energy about this store. And I used to say, man, you know, I'm going to win a lot of things from this store. I'm going to win a lot of money. I'm going to win a lot of lotteries, gifts, and everything. Because they used to have, like, lottery pool, not, not pools, prizes, and everything. And I just got, like, this really, really good energy from this store. So this store was, like, 10 minutes, maybe, like, 10 or 15 minutes away from my house. And it was, like, real late. But I was like, you know... One thing about me, I don't really like traveling late unless I really have to. And in this case, I felt like, you know, I had to do it because I already knew in my spirit that why would I think about doing something like this? Evidently, it's not going to let me down. I'm going to win. So didn't think of the price or anything like that. So what I did was I followed my first mind again. I purchased the dollar tickets. And my thing is, never spend anything that you can't feel like you can lose. So I feel like, you know, I can, um, I think I paid like three bucks for three tickets. 
because at times I like to play in threes, I like to play in fives. That's just something that I like to do. So while I'm pumping my gas, because I need a gas, I, pump, I was pumping a gas, and I can just remember vividly why uh, to this day that while I was pumping the gas, and I put the ticket down and I had a quarter. I made sure I had a quarter in my hand and I was um, scratching it out because when I get tickets, I can't wait till I get in a car. Most of the time I'm walking out the store trying to scratch them off. But this particular time I was doing it on the hood while I was getting my $10 worth of gas. So I see these numbers come up 100, 100, 100, 100. It was $500, you all. I was. So in shock, like, oh my God. Oh my God. And see, in what a thing that I learned about the law of attraction, you cannot feel broke. You already have to know that you already have it. Even though I didn't have a set mindset, like, oh, I'm gonna win this tonight. I just followed my first mind. And I, I did that. And I've won on so many tickets. To, it's not even funny, but that was like the highest on one ticket that I've ever won. It's not going to be the last time that I've won from the lottery because I went all the time. But it really opened my eyes up that, hey, you know, when, when your mind is telling you something, that's your God. Listen to it. That's the spirit within you to let you know, hey, this is what you need to do. And so I just felt like that that was a really... Uh, shocking moment in my life because like I said I was new to law of attraction and everything else and I was obsessed with it but I just noticed that you know you can't put yourself either you're gonna do two things like I say either you're gonna have faith or you're gonna worry I just knew to follow directions of my spirit and I went for it and I'm telling you guys now I pay attention to things and it's just one of those things that it's kind of hard at times when things in your life is not going accordingly to how you want them to, to go. And you can get off track or if there's resistance, you're, it's harder for you to reach it. And how many times have you tried to like reach out and be like, you know what, this person is on my mind or uh, whatever. And then that person ends up calling you, but you don't worry about that person. It's like when you don't worry about it, it comes to you instantly. And just remember, don't have any resistance. Just already know that it's there. You already put in your order. It's going to come. It's like when you order a pizza. When you order a pizza, you don't tell them, I don't want this. I don't want that. You tell them exactly what you want on your pizza. And when the pizza, you already know it's going to take 30 or 40 minutes because they told you that you already know that it's going to be delivered exactly how you wanted your pizza. So that's how I look at the law of attraction. Put in your order. Whatever it is that you want, be specific and, hey, just put it in. And it's the things, like I said in my other video, please check it out. Um, there is other things that I want to have and manifest or whatever, but I dare not talk about it because the thing is, is that whenever you have something and you're trying to manifest it, it's good to keep it to yourself. Or if you have somebody that's on the same wavelength as you and their vibration is on the same wavelength as yours, then it's, it, it's cool to share. But I noticed that when I share, even with my friends and I love them dearly, it's hard for me to attract it. So what I learned to shut my mouth and I just go ahead and try to work on manifesting, you know, putting that out there and being positive. So I just wanted to leave that with you all. And I want to hear from you all, J loves, and just let me know what you guys think of the story and everything, because um, I don't mind sharing more with you all. It's, I mean, we're all trying to get through this life this thing called life and we learn it as we go i don't know everything about the law of attraction i'm still a, a little i want to say a scholar i don't know if i'm saying that right but i'm still a student myself but i don't mind sharing what i know or what i have manifested when it comes to pass so hopefully i didn't bore you all hopefully you guys enjoyed it and don't forget to help me grow this channel to 2,000 subscribers because there will be a giveaway okay and I just want to leave you all with that. And just know, J-Loves, hey, your girl is out there for you. And I'll be back soon. Until then, bye-bye.